As you can see, Kevin got his workshop sided. I think it looks pretty good. So today we started setting the post for our stalls. I lay a board across the top. That way I can set a tape measure there and make sure my depth is consistent from hole to hole. And now I will set the uh, pier support in. And uh, don't my luck, I'll do this several times because the hole diameter will be off. Wow, that's high. Yes, that's I what I'm saying. That'll be good. So the next step is he took and built our posts for the hayloft. He's treated in the bottom. Ignore my shaking hands. I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, this kind of gives you a, a little bit of a sight in what we got going. Um, basically, you got two six feet, a little bit over six feet, stalls. And then we're transitioning up to eight foot stalls. Uh, even without the holes backfilled and just this rough framing done, you can already do chin-ups off from it. So uh, that's good news. I didn't want it to collapse off that little bit of weight. Um, from here, we as you come in, after the boys went to bed, I spent a little bit more time on the six-foot stalls. So you can start to see the, you know, the holes got backfilled. Uh, got the rough frame for an eventual hayloft. Sounds good. How big, how big will the stalls be? Uh, they are 10 feet by um, 7 feet 6 inches, something like that. Yeah, I think we can get so many bales up there. It's like 20 foot by 8 by 20. We could easily put 3, 4 bales high. So. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Enjoy some drugs. Where's the other screws at? All the screws? Yeah. I locked them up in there. I have a couple in my pocket. I locked them up there in the back. Actually, I brought this out here. Because I kept spilling them. Mm -hmm. Our sketch has come to life. You turn the light on? Yes. Whoa! What's that? That's a really tall stack. Looks like we have. I'm not sure how wide, but pretty big boards. Alright, so me and the boys, we've got our floor joist hangers in for the. Uh, two. We're going to check the progress in the bar. Follow our lumber. Where have you been putting these? inside here and so we're giving him the measurement and we're cutting it and putting it in these. Did those hangers go up pretty good? Uh -huh. Wow you're done with that one already. Well we haven't, well, we haven't just screwed, screwed them in there. We haven't screwed, got them all the way. Okay. Yeah, nobody can do a chin up on them right this minute so keep an eye on them. Alright, let's Open your eyes. Yeah, okay. so we have enough. We'll do these guys, we'll get them screwed in place, and then me and the boys will have the equivalent of uh, two more here. Okay. So it'll match the thing else, right? Yep. So we measured our length, and then my new toy was a speed square. So the idea is rather than making a straight line, I now lay the square up, and now I just find my distance, and now I know I'll have a nice square cut as long as I keep my tables. 
uh, saws laid up to my speed square. Cool. It's went a lot quicker, haven't it? What I do is I try to draw the, the, the hanger together on the board to pinch it nice and tight before I anchor it in all the way. That's why it's so fun and so awkward. Yeah. Kind of hard. It's nice to have a nailer, but do with what you got, right? Yeah, I can check what I'm doing now. So, those things that he was talking about, um, these <laughs> things right here, uh, they stick out, and so what I've been doing is I go like this, I stick it like this, and then I hammer it in. You got one on that side? What? Yep, this one I still have to do on this side. Okay. And I've done a all snack these break. Do a little soon. Do you want us to keep working or do you want us to come in and start getting dinner ready? Because we're going to be done with the rough soon. I don't know. I can take a picture from the way up here. It looks awesome up here. We have all the trusses up, just not all screwed in. Okay, stalls. You can see we started doing the floor joists and then decided, hey, we'll uh, spend our money doing that when we need that extra storage. Until then, that'll probably just uh, end with the stall walls being done. Uh, next phase will be to take a lot of this rough cut oak you're seeing and start to uh, get her put in position. I was talking about. Uh, I took it apart in order to use it, but yeah. Oh. Hey, it made a real good space. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the gap will grow as these get wet. What? So that way the animals get lots of air coming through. So when the wood dries out, it's going to be even farther apart. Look, he's a dog bat. Yeah. Let's go see. Oh, Grandma, I'm I got my toy whip. Got my toy whip. Oh, that could really hurt somebody. So we finally had a start on the hayloft. I can see the transition. If we ever decide to build the other hayloft, it'll be up there. So tonight was a pretty good night for me. We I started the third stall, the first of the big tall ones, doing the rough oak. Uh, stall one and stall two are all done with rough oak, and the hayloft got finished tonight. So here's a quick shot of the hay loft. As you can see, we do have more loft we can build if we need it. Uh, but we'll wait and see how this little short loft does for us and go from Got there. the doors done. project is basically complete. Uh, all the stall doors have been put in uh, and we've already put hay in. We got straw on the left hand side and hay on the right hand side. Um, as far as lessons learned, big thing is rough cut oak uh, is very strong, can be difficult to work with. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so we can look at the way the green oak uh, when it dries, it actually increases the gap in between the boards. Take the gap we're seeing with the finger nowadays, you can see how much it's shrunk within the past couple months. Uh, anyways, other than that, it was a good project. 
Lots of learning. Are those your chicks? Toy chicks. 